I wasn't expecting too much when we walked in there. No. But that that's banging. That's put me in my place, made me think twice about judging books by the covers and that. It's Sandra's Kitchen at the Tabac. Now we knew the Tabac was there because we used to go there about 20 years ago when you were steaming coming out the palace. Showing what age. But somebody had messaged me to say that it's new people uh, in it and stuff and that it's really good. So we have took a wee journey guys and I have got... It's a breakfast toast. I hope you can see that all right. It looks pretty good. But the kicker is it's French toast. Look, ooh! So, aye, so, sure. uh, well, <laughs> just so good. Just goes <laughs> <laughs> no, so, cheese, uh, cheese, beans, bacon, sausage. Um, I don't know what else, but let's just get to it down. Nice, nice as all. Looks like it went down because of yours. Looks so good. <laughs> I just went for breakfast wrap. Whoever didn't know me knows I like our breakfast wrap. But mm, simple good. cheese, beans, sausage, bacon. Basically the same as mine, except different. Aye, but in a wrap. Mmm, that's really good by the way. Mmm. It's lacking the egg that you usually get in a, in a breakfast wrap. Mmm. But, I'm not missing it. Do you know what I mean? Just that initial bite, you're not getting that yolky flavour. Really good. That's nice, aye. Cheese and beans, I mean. Uh, that's what I just say. It's just a winner on any to be fair the french toast is a good good wee no, substitute for your normal jealous i want that <laughs> i'll get that next time i go um it's good square sausage as well it's not like no your fat frozen ones i should do that Hamilton right central train station literally right on it if you don't know where the tobacco is been there as long as I can remember, obviously, from a few different owners over the years, but it's always been there. Brilliant location. I think they have a good food spot where uh, like trains coming in, taxis, a lot of people for the centre. But, good. Mm -hmm. she, she asked me if I wanted the add extras in it. I said, I'll just take it as it comes, which is, is pleasant enough. But oh, I, think, yeah. I, think, I think next time I would ask for the egg in it because I love the yolky bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bacon's cooked nice, you've not got that stringy. That was the big fat. debate we were having. How do they cook the bacon? That's usually the test. Because right. you want it. Nothing worse than pulling it that big, uh, stringy, fatty, unrendered. Get the bacon rendered a bit, get it crisped up. Yeah, I'm really enjoying that. The meal doing that. Good consistency of the cheese. Absolutely. The French toast is an absolute winner for me as your bread with the cheese and the beans. To be honest, I think the French toast with just cheese and beans because that is bloody good. But obviously, throw some bacon in there, a wee sausage. I'm all about that. Cheesy beans though. It's like basically cheesy beans on it. Aye, can't do that. So you so, like. I'm not even sure yet if this place has like a Facebook page or social media, so I'll need to look at that. So if you know and I've no fun at the end, give them a wee tag, let me know so that I can give them their shout out. But, so I wasn't expecting too much when we walked in there. Nah. But that that's banging. That's put me in my place, made me think twice about judging books by the yeah. covers and that. Well, another episode done. Me and John Pleasant and up from Dell, back at it. I've got stuff odd in me, honestly. <laughs> Sorry, the motor's are messing up. Hey, me, Mum. <laughs> Where should we do next, kids? Where's next? And also, we places like that is exactly what we're looking for. Places that... We hidden gems that maybe there's a bit. Uh, places that just don't get a shout out. But you still gotta buy and be meal. Till next time, folks. We shall see you later.